meet Bacillus subtilis, a harmless soil bacterium and systems biology top model. Like most bacteria, Bacillus cells grow by producing identical copies of themselves. What makes Bacillus a fascinating model system is the variety of behaviors that it displays under stress. For example, when food is scarce, Bacillus can turn into a spore, an extremely resistant dormant state in which they can survive for years without food. Here, we study the genetic program that allows cells to produce spores. When food is plentiful, cells replicate their DNA and divide in half to produce two identical daughter cells, each getting their own DNA. Starving bacillus cells stop normal growth and divide asymmetrically. The smaller compartment becomes a spore. Both compartments still need their own DNA copy. If a cell starts sporulation before completing DNA replication, it fails. But how are these processes coordinated? To understand the coordination, we focus on the underlying regulatory network. Sporulation is governed by a master regulator called SPO0A, which controls the production of multiple sporulation genes and determines the cell fate of starving cells. High SPO0A activity commits cells to sporulation, whereas at low activity, cells continue with normal division. SPO0A activity itself is controlled by a molecular network called phosphorylase. The phosphorylase activates SPO0A by transferring a phosphate group to it from a kinase kinase via intermediate proteins SPO0F and SPO0B. We investigated the phosphorylase by constructing a detailed mathematical model. This model showed that two phosphorylase genes, kinase and SPO0F, play key roles in controlling SPO0A activity. In fact, due to the inhibition of kinase activity by SPO0F, the phosphorylase acts like a delayed negative feedback loop. Our model made two specific predictions. First, increases in SPO0F to kinase ratio decrease SPO0A activity. Second, transient increases in this ratio cause an overshoot in SPO0A activity, resulting in a pulsed response. How can DNA replication affect SPO0A activity? Replication of the circular bacterial chromosome starts at a single point, called the origin of replication. It then goes around the circle till the two replication points meet at the opposite end of the chromosome, the terminus. The SPO0F gene is located near the origin, so it is replicated early. More SPO0F protein is expressed from the two copies of the gene, inhibiting kinase and thereby the phosphorylation of SPO0A. When kinase, a gene located near the terminus, is finally replicated, its production catches up with SPO0F and SPO0A activity starts increasing. Due to the negative feedback and delay in the network, SPO0A activity overshoots and produces a pulse. If the pulse amplitude is large enough, the cells sporulate. In this way, during each cell cycle, completion of DNA replication triggers a pulse of SPO0A activity, and coordination of sporulation and the cell cycle is always achieved. To test this model, we made time-lapse microscopy movies of sporulating bacillus cells with fluorescent proteins, we could simultaneously track SPO0A activity and the DNA replication in single cells. Our measurements confirm that SPO0A activity indeed pulses once every cell cycle, and the pulses follow the completion of DNA replication. Next, we engineered a strain in which we moved the location of SPO0F gene in the chromosome, so that it is replicated together with kinase. As a result, pulsing is lost and sporulation is greatly diminished. We also were able to experimentally break the negative feedback loop between SPO0F and SPO0A by expressing SPO0F from an inducible promoter. As predicted, this resulted in gradual activation of SPO0A over time with no pulsing. Even though these cells managed to produce spores, they showed threefold higher levels of sporulation defects. This observation proves physiological importance of the discovered coordination of sporulation process with the DNA replication. 
the mechanism of sensing the completion of DNA replication that we have uncovered relies on a very basic and universal feature of bacterial physiology. In all bacteria, replication leads to transient imbalance between genes near the origin and genes near the terminus. We therefore believe that similar mechanisms are in place in other bacteria to coordinate their cell cycle with stress responses, differentiation and other processes.